Hello again my friends. Today we have two stories from relationships. The first story is about a man whose girlfriend broke up with him, slept with another man, and a week later wants him back. The second story is about a woman who is in a long-term relationship wondering when her boyfriend will propose. As always, spelling and grammar mistakes courtesy of Reddit. LOL. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps this channel grow. Thank you. This story is titled, My 27 male ex-girlfriend, 26 female, broke up with me and went, no contact. Then came back to reconcile after a week and revealed she slept with someone and has regrets. I have been in a relationship with this girl for seven years. I moved to another city for her two hours away from my family and gave up my apartment. Lockdown and corona have been hard on us and our relationship was starting to strain. Our relationship has slowly started becoming more and more platonic, yet we love each other very much. I do admit that the lust from my side has become less strong than earlier in the relationship. I felt sad about it but for me it was worth it just for being with her and sharing my life with her. Two weeks ago, she broke up with me. She said she felt very sad about it and I was pretty devastated, though I also sort of understood. She said she missed feeling desired. That week I cried myself to sleep every night. I had to move back into my parents, which I don't really like. Last week she said she wanted to talk to me and she revealed that she had slept with someone that week and felt terrible about it. She said she regrets it and wants nothing more than to talk with me and sort it out. As soon as she revealed that my mood switched entirely. It was like I lost my feelings for her. I feel completely indifferent, stunned and didn't know what to say. Now she keeps sending me messages about how she misses me and all kinds of stuff. I don't really know how to handle this. I feel pretty bad and I genuinely felt like we were soulmates. I feel partially responsible for not giving her the attention she desired. She has talked about it before. And I did put in an effort to work on it. If I knew that this'd be the result, I might have suggested more drastic measures. Still, for me it doesn't justify what she did in my opinion. I kind of want things to be back to normal but right now I don't think it can ever be fixed. I can't look at her the same way, the thought that someone else touched her and slept in my bed. I'm also afraid I will always be paranoid whenever she is on her phone. How do I handle my feelings in this situation? I feel betrayed, but I still love and miss her. Comment 1. You tell her, I can't ever get over you sleeping with someone else. If you wanted to fix things you shouldn't have done that. And then you block her number. The relationship is completely dead. The person you love and miss only exists in your memories. There is no going back or undoing what has been done, and the only way is forward. If you try to go back you will just end up wasting your time chasing something from the past. Go no contact. Refocus somewhere else. Comment 2. She broke up with you so she could tell herself that she's not a cheater. Her new guy gave her the pump and dump treatment. Now she wants her safety net back. Don't reconcile. Comment 3. Dude, you have my sincere sympathies. I was with someone for 8 years and they, without warning, called it quits and slept with our mutual friend a few days later. I was inconsolable for 2 months. That was 4 years ago and it still impacts me. I have no advice except to be smart and not make any rash decisions. Do you bear any responsibility for things falling apart? Sure. But so does she. Did she communicate with you along the way or did you both just let things fall apart without ever talking about it? If so, is it because neither of you ultimately feels like the other person is your person, or is it simply because you are young and inexperienced? Besides breaking up and then sleeping with that guy, was she a good partner before that? With consistency, was she thoughtful and considerate? Were you? A lot of people here are going to ask brilliant questions or make hypotheses that I could never think of. That one person's comment about her being pregnant is, technically a possibility. And people, as we are finding out, can shock and surprise us with their actions. So take advantage of this thread you have created and read all of it. Pick out the pieces that apply to you, using your best judgment. Please give us an update when you can. Comment 4. She regrets her decision because she tried to replace you with someone new. The new guy just used her for a quick one-night stand and disappeared. Does she miss you now? Of course, since that guy left. You need to tell her you're never going to be someone's backup plan. You need someone in your life that is going to treat you like your number one. It might take some time, but she's out there, and you won't find her if you're in a relationship with a woman that's stringing you along until she finds something better. 
If you go back, she will break up with you again guaranteed. Your heart will be broken once more and you'll go through this whole ordeal again. Save yourself the trouble and move on, unless you really enjoy living with your parents and crying yourself to sleep. Which I'm sure you don't. Comment 5. If you have low libido, she will either feel unfulfilled or like she's forcing you. So, if you really have low libido, find a better suited partner or accommodate her. However, if you have some reason why your libido got low. Well, you probably tried to fix that. She loves you. You're the first one that pushed her away because you didn't feel desire. She didn't want to break up over this very important thing for her, so she went on a break to feel what it's like to be wanted and attractive or maybe she didn't plan the sex part, who knows. Then the need was fulfilled. She realized there are many more and you're the one who can fulfill them. The interesting part is your, it was like I lost my feelings. When something really unpleasant happens, you suppress feelings. Likely, something happened and you suppressed feelings before, but that time it included desire for her, likely unintended. Have you gone to therapist to figure out what is up? If not, I suggest trying that because you will keep suppressing with the same or future partners until you'll realize you need someone who understands what is going on. But then you might uncover some unpleasant truth and regret a lot not going sooner. People say she's not a keeper, but I wouldn't say yet that you are a keeper. Please, take care of yourself, all of yourself, including parts you don't want to feel and deal with. This story is titled, My Long-Term Boyfriend, 26, Change His Mind About Marriage, I'm 24. I'm looking for advice here since I don't want to ask family and risk it potentially causing a fight with my significant other. My boyfriend and I met in university and were good friends for two years. We spent a lot of time together and had a very close friendship, and still do. Soon after we started dating, we both started having landlord issues with our respective apartments, so we just thought, hey, why not put our rent money together, get a really nice place and move in together. I was 20. He was 22. In hindsight I would never recommend that anyone do that after just a few months of dating, but it worked out perfectly. We get along so well, and I couldn't believe how easy it was to live together, since we were each other's first serious relationship, a lot of firsts. I know it was probably very naive of me to take him seriously, but he would constantly ask me when he could propose. We were both drunk on love and head over heels in love with each other. I told him that 21 was a special year, and he should ask me at 22. However, two years later, he still hadn't asked me. So, I casually brought it up, and asked him if he still wanted to marry me. He said that he couldn't think straight when we first started dating, that he was just so in love and so overwhelmed, and that it was the first time he has ever had a serious relationship. He said that he doesn't blame himself for feeling differently now since he had never been in a position like that before. He also said that I couldn't hold him to what he said before since he was so young and inexperienced. I expressed that I would like to get married someday, and then I let it go and didn't bring it up again. I've just turned 24, and it's been on my mind lately. I didn't want to pester him, but on the other hand, I need to know if he is ever planning on proposing at all. At this point we've been living together happily and have supported each other through so much. He constantly tells me how much he appreciates everything I do for him, and that I make his life so much better, and that he's going to stay with me forever. I feel like we both are an equal amount around the house, we respect and care for each other, share our finances, and do everything else that a married couple does. But, when I asked him what he thought about getting married yesterday, he said, I'm not there right now, I'm just not thinking about it. Also, what's the point of getting married? I know I'm going to be with you forever. We're not religious, so why get married? I explained that it was important to me, and I think it's romantic. When I said that we had this conversation two years ago, and nothing has really changed. He said that he doesn't have his dream job yet so he isn't even considering marriage right now, we have been living and working abroad for two and a half years and are saving up so that he can pursue his career. I'm not sure what I want to do as a career yet, but I'm figuring it out. I'm also terrified to bring up children with him, as it's a similar situation. In the beginning he said that he wanted them, but he wanted to be financially stable first since he'd had a hard childhood, I totally agree. Nowadays, he says he hates kids and he never wants to have them and he always talks about how dumb his brother was to have a kid. I figure that he's just scared, and we're both relatively young still, so there's no reason to badger him about children now. The thing is, I love him dearly. I love living with him and I love his family. He was my first everything and I want to be with him forever. I want to get married and have children one day, but I want it with him.
I don't know if I'll be able to accept not having those things in our relationship at all. On the other hand, I feel dumb for moving in with him and giving him all the perks of having a wife so soon without at least being engaged first. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free, eh? Comment 1. So, when he was young, he overpromised and underdelivered, and now he's an adult who doesn't want to marry and hates kids. I know you love him, but is this the kind of life you want to have? He's 26, he's a grown-ass adult, he's not going to suddenly change his mind about kids. As for marriage, you don't just get married because you're religious, you get married because that contract secured certain rights and responsibilities that currently don't exist for you. Currently, if you were hospitalized, he would have no right to see you and no legal authority to consent or withhold consent for any medical procedures if you were incapacitated. I would think this would be incentive enough to marry if you love someone. And currently you have no legal protections if you break up. In the eyes of the law, you guys are roommates. As for, why buy the cow, this isn't the 1950s, and you're not a cow. You don't need to secure your future by marrying a guy who can provide for you even if you have to compromise your happiness. If a guy won't buy the cow, you give him the boot and find someone who will. Edit, you do need to sort this out because it can get a lot harder to have kids after 30, and it might take a while to find someone you want to start a family with. So, you do need to come to some sort of decision, even if it means some tough conversations with your boyfriend. Comment 2. Ask why not get married because if he wants to be with you forever there is no reason not to plus depending on where you live there are several benefits to getting married. Comment 3. I'm going to be frank. You need to sit down and have an actual conversation with him. A hard conversation. A what do you want out of life conversation. You need to know what you want and don't want. And if his goal is child free and no marriage you need to evaluate if you are willing to live like that. Because if not it doesn't matter how much you love him, but you will grow to resent him. And you can break up and stay friends. But from your small description of what he wants, it seems like your relationship may have run its course. Everyone is in your life for a reason even if it's not permanent. And that's okay. The hardest part of life is letting people you love go. Just remember that if you do all the giving up of your dreams it's not actually a fair relationship. Thank you so very much for listening. Please check out my other videos and like and subscribe.